Okay, ladies, I'm gonna get you guys off the hook today. You do not need dating apps to meet amazing guys. Dating apps are not for everybody. Yes, they are a great tool to meet people, but they're not the only way to meet people. You can meet people organically, you can meet people offline. And in this video, I wanna teach you a practical strategy, a practical plan of action that you can take in order to meet amazing men anywhere you go. So stay tuned. I'm Lillian and I'm a dating and relationship coach and I help single women sex in and out. Okay, so where do you meet these amazing guys? Where are they, right? They're everywhere. You can meet amazing guys anywhere, anywhere you go. But you do have to adopt a mindset of, you know, more proactive mindset that puts you in the driver's seat when it comes to your love life. You can't put this in a back burner forever. Once you're ready to commit, once you are ready to have that serious relationship, then you know you have to jump in with both feet. And you do have to take control over this part of your life. It's great that you spend so much time building your career, you know, getting your health, you know, personal growth, and becoming that wonderful, amazing woman that you are. But at this moment, now it is time to jump in with two feet when it comes to your love life. So some of the questions that I would suggest that you ask yourself are, what's my lifestyle right now? So are you someone that goes to work, comes home and doesn't leave the house or just like goes to work, goes to the gym, comes home and doesn't talk to anybody and you stay with the same circle of friends, right? Start asking yourself those questions. Second question that I would suggest you ask yourself and I'm just looking at my computer here. How much time do I have? So how much time do I have to give this part of my life? How much time do I have to date? And be honest with yourself as to how much time you do have and how much time you're willing to give it. The third question is, what am I willing to do? Because at the end of the day, it is your life and you decide how your life is going to be like and who would you want to be with or if you want to, you know, keep doing the same thing that you're doing and, you know, you're staying single and that is just a pattern that's how it's gonna be so if you want to change things you're gonna have to change you know some of your behavior and where is it that you're investing your time you know how in real estate they say location 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 well when it comes to meeting guys it really has it doesn't matter the location you can meet guys anywhere you go the one thing that you do have to do is you know obviously what is it that you do when you get to those locations you know are you always on your phone plugged in are you just like you know so focused on something else are you someone who goes to a party and stays with the same you know circle of friends you have to be proactive so when it comes to you know meeting people like i said it doesn't matter what location you go to or you know what you're doing what matters is what you do when you get there so if you are you know looking around do you smile at you know strangers do you go and like you know say hello putting yourself out there in a sense putting yourself probably you know stepping out of your comfort zone that's a big one so the next thing that and this is like a really good exercise that i love to give my my clients is okay so use the the alphabet a to z or a to z so for each letter come up with a place so you know to meet guys so go to places where you know you're gonna meet guys so this exercise stretches you because you start thinking of places that you have maybe never thought about, right? So if you are into personal growth or into your health, you know, you can go to places that you know that are gonna be, that you're gonna meet people with the same values. If you're a growth mindset person, you're probably going to be going to places or maybe, you know, taking a, a night school or taking a course offline where you're able to meet people. I've even seen like, you know, some free courses here in Vancouver actually, and I'm sure they have them everywhere where you can go and, you know, learn about, it was about photography. I mean, if someone was into photography and you love photography, maybe this is a place that you can go and meet other people who are into the same sort of, you know, 
activities that you like and they don't have to be the same but maybe they have to be you know maybe similar activities or similar values or like you know similar lifestyles that is like the the one exercise that i love doing and you can come up with like i have here like the library you can meet people at the library so if he loves to you know growth mindset you're probably gonna find guys at the library picking up books you know museums that's another place you can meet people anywhere museums go look around you know uh, see who's there talk to them say hello smile okay like i said i like a nice school or some other type of you know course that you can take offline where you can meet guys i have two tips that i wanted to give you at the end of this whole thing and the tip number one is so maximize things that you are already doing so if you are into you know if you exercise instead of exercising on your own maybe take a class a group class you know every you know every week and take different types of classes go to different places there there are even apps where you can you know try out different gyms and it, they're very you know reasonable prices and you can help try out different gyms and then meet different people who are into you know health and wellness in different locations and you know even throughout like you know the area that you're living in like the same area there's you can try out different gyms so if you have been going to the same gym for years you're probably seeing the same people there over and over and over so maybe try a different gym try a free class they sometimes offer free classes so try out that the next tip that i wanted to give you are are there things that you're willing to try? Instead of staying in the same circle of friends, are you, you know, step out of your comfort zone? Go try something new, you know, join a hiking club, join a cycling club, join some kind of, you know, group setting type of thing where you're able to meet people and you're stepping out of your comfort zone and you're meeting new people. So it's great, I know it's so like, it feels so good to stay within the same circle of friends, but that's not what you need at this moment. You need to like expand that circle. You need to meet more people. So the last question that I wanted to leave you with is what would you do in the next three months that's different from what you're doing now, right? Because like I said in the beginning, if you keep doing the same thing, you're gonna end up with the same results. Nothing's gonna change. You're gonna be seeing the same people. You're not gonna meet anybody. And what you want to do is expand that circle. So even when it comes to, you know, dating online, you know, there's an investment. So both, both things are great. I, you know, I tell my clients do both there, you know, but if you're not into dating online you don't have to you don't have to do anything that you don't feel comfortable doing it's a great deal to have but you don't necessarily need to meet people online you can do this offline okay if you like this video please make sure that you like it below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I do have a freebie so if you're interested in doing on online dating and you need some advice on how to you know be successful at it how to really become that irresistible woman online uh, make sure that you grab it is up on the link up there so make sure that you check it out and it's a five day series and i think that you guys are gonna love it if you are interested in online dating okay till the next one bye